Hi. So we're going to start today by yeah by giving you a little bit of background just on the Boeing Company. You probably all heard of the Boeing Company, but you may not appreciate just how large and diverse a company it is, and it helps to understand that when we get into the challenges that we face in deploying model-based systems engineering. So Boeing is, oops, let me get my uh, pointer set here. But, so Boeing is number 30 on the Fortune 500. We have customers in 150 com countries. We're the number one U.S. exporter. We 70% of our commercial airplane revenue comes from customers outside the United States. We have uh, suppliers and partners, uh, 22,000 of them around the world. And we have Boeing employees in all 50 states and 70 countries. So it's a very large, diverse organization that we're trying to uh, deploy model-based systems engineering to. And we have a very large, diverse product base. So we have bombers, commercial airplanes. We have weapons. We have fighters. We have uh, uh, the Chinook helicopter, tanker, the, the C-17 cargo airplane, the Apache attack helicopter. We have uh, airborne surveillance platforms, KVK and AQX. We have uh, anti-ballistic missile systems, and, uh, TAC-3 and GMD. We have uh, communication systems, network systems. We have satellites and satellite launch vehicles. We have manned space, space exploration. And we have customer support for all those products. So there's a very diverse product line that we have to support. So that diversity of, uh, of company and both products and organizations and the size of this thing leads us to need a diversity of MDSE solutions. And that's what we've been talking a little bit about today is the fact that we have two different solutions currently that we're promoting and, and comparing and contrasting those. So we not only are a large company, but we produce large products. And so I'm going to take a little bit of time here just to get you oriented to that. So what you see here is a picture of our uh, manufacturing plant in Everett, Washington. And for people who visit Seattle, it's a wonderful city, and I encourage you to visit here. But for most people, when they're asked what was their favorite uh, tourist attraction, it was the tour of the Boeing Everett Suck. It's quite, uh, it, it impresses a lot of people. Uh, this is our factory, and it has uh, six assembly lines inside of it. One for the 747, one for the 767, two for the 777, and two for the 787, which accounts for the six doors you see uh, out here. Each of these doors is the size of a regulation NFL football field. The digital image on these doors is, in the Guinness Book of World Records, is the largest digital image in the world. If you take the front of this building, rotate it 90 degrees to put it flat on the ground, and make 10 rows of that, you'd have the footprint of the building, which is the size of 75 NFL football fields. So that building is also in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest building in the world by volume. So how big is it? Well, here's my favorite story. Every year between Christmas and New Year's, we shut the uh, facility down for our, uh, our uh, break, our winter break, and we do our uh, repairs and upgrades to the facility during that time. So one of those times, one of the people was walking through the